Hi, I'm Graham Bullock. I'm going to show you how to surface this rear fender in real time. Uh, first thing to do is to have a look at the parent surfaces, make sure that uh, they're good enough, they're going to be producing the, the blend that we want. So uh, I would spend more time looking along these and checking them out, but they look just quick look at them, they look very, very good. These parent surfaces are produced by an Indian student by the name of Melville Menzies and uh, he's just uh, finished his engineering degree with uh, distinction scholarship in uh, India so congratulations to him. Now I'm going to show you how to surface this. I'll tell you what my hotkeys are as I go so it's E and F for pick nothing and save. Okay, uh, first thing I'm going to do then is check out this the quality of this uh, trim edge. I have this set to relative and the one that my mouse is set to normal. Now, this is very important. If you look down there you see it's absolutely beautiful uh, surface and a beautiful trim edge and that's great. So we're ready to start. Okay, I'm working in uh, real time, uh, no tricks, so here we go. Let's take uh, freeform blend, well I'll do it in G2 and I'll show you the difference. And uh, tangent, tangent because it controls this C first CV row, and degree 6, flow control, edge align, uh, change select off. Multiple surfaces, Bezier, we're ready to start and we're using the shape controls at default, so there we go. Okay, now it's given us a surface set, put the controls on. I did I promise you that I'd show you G2 versus G3, so let's do that. So this is G2, so query edit, and let's change it to G3, and you see much smoother and much more beautiful highlights. Forget all this, this is because the tangent CVs have to be sorted out. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is pick all my surfaces and delete history. And this is because I want to direct model now. Okay, and I don't want the shader on, it's in the way. Um, I did say I'd tell you the hotkeys, so that's Shift Z space bar. You can set your own hotkeys up to whatever you want, but this is what I use, and it, it may be if you're uh, just starting out with hotkeys it may be better to use mine until you get your own system going okay so let's take hull and uh, NUV yep I think that's what we need and just go around here and quickly holding down a shift key select that hull okay that's all done now we're in NUV, so we can change that angle there. We need to get a good view, so I'm t t turning the model like so. So I'm looking down on it, and you see that this is this is what I want, something like that. Don't forget, we're going to put a radius here, fill it later. Okay, now I want to pick that row there. So uh, to do that, I go Control and Down Nudge key, and then I can NUV that. And I'm looking for a beautiful, smooth transition here so I'm looking at this here see if I see what happens okay and obviously also I'm looking at the hull you know it, you want a kind of smooth shape these angles running nice and smoothly no no nasty jerks okay uh, that's great so I don't want to move it anymore I don't think let's have a look here am I happy with that maybe not I want to take that in a bit. So I'm looking for a beautiful curve here on these boundaries. Okay, I think that's that's about what I want. So E and F again on the hotkeys and put that on. And that's exactly what I want. You see I have to write highlight there, I have to write like highlights here, I have this beautiful G3 coming on here. I want to, uh, to do four surfaces, so the first thing I'm going to do is four patches, I'm going to delete that. And then I want to make this patch 
a little bit bigger so that it's on top dead center so if that's going to f6 and you can see what I'm talking about so to do that take the extend with merge on move that across to about there so that's top dead center I'm happy with that and I think perhaps I would like to make this patch a little bigger and this one a little smaller maybe just a little a little bit that's fine I take the square control I'm not going to read out all the settings you can see for yourself how it's set up okay and I have a small gap there so there's various ways I can uh, I can get rid of that gap and perhaps the easiest way is out D on my keyboard is to and Y to get rid of the history and then I want shift Z space bar and I'm going to go for move CV XYZ and I come down here and in sensitivity type in 999 okay that's done I could do it with the align tool as well of course um, but sometimes when you're stretching you know the degrees thinly like I am here they, even the align tool can't do it it wants to put in spans so E fix nothing F save my work and same again here I want to make this bigger and this smaller this is important because when you're working with degree uh, 7 single span you can only cover so much of an arc without having to add extra spans so I want this to be slightly smaller I'm going to get rid of this section here and shift R and we have a small gap there, controls on and out D, Y, get rid of history, sensitivity 999, control D, duplicate curve from there and then delete those freeform blend helper surfaces. I want to stress that uh, if I was doing this with more time I would planarize these hulls just uh, this issue here to sort out okay so it's just a slight problem uh, here then you initially and I'm going to change my setting uh, no, perhaps 999 is okay. So it's curvature deviation, so it's here. E, G to get rid of the, or hide the locators. Shift T to trim out. Okay, and there's the finished product. So there you are, beautiful highlights, job done. The more accurately you work, the more smoothly things fit together and you get continuity, etc. I've just uh, got this open here to show you that we are working to Katia V5, so that's a maximum gap tolerance of 0 0.001 of a millimeter and I couldn't really uh, finish this video without showing you this final product because this isn't the version that we just modeled what I've done is uh, I've modeled this um, in a separate time window and what I've done is planarized the hulls to, just to make it a lot neater even down here uh, I could still uh, 
planarize these and make this uh, a little bit better. You can move these with uh, let's uh, shift Z space bar slide and you can pick certainly these the, this row because it's free it's not um, influencing the curvature and you can move those just just knock off that sensitivity there sort of care you can start to tidy up your hull that you found it interesting and you learn something uh, from it and that you can uh, apply it to your own modeling skill set thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video